You're currently seeing the first views we have today of Dragon after its departure from the International Space Station. Dragon is about 144 meters away from the International Space Station at this time. Again, we are looking for it to exit the Keep Out Sphere about 200 meters away from the International Space Station. That should be coming up here shortly in just about a minute or two. And we currently see firings of Dragon as it conducts its Depart Burn 1. This is to last just about 16 seconds, excuse me, 22 seconds, changing the relative velocity. As Dragon continues its departure. Station Houston on two, departure burn one complete. And that was a nominal departure burn one. Station Houston Dragon has exited the keep out sphere. Woohoo! Station copies. Nice work, Dragon team and Houston. We appreciate it. Thank you, Duke. And that was Capcom Megan Harvey to NASA astronaut Nicole Mann aboard the International Space Station. Dragon has exited the approach ellipse, has exited the keep out sphere. Next up for Dragon will be to exit the approach ellipsoid. Again, you're seeing live views of Dragon from the external camera from the International Space Station. Dragon is currently 286 meters away from the International Space Station at this time.
If you're just joining us, you're seeing live coverage of the Cargo Dragon spacecraft as it has departed the International Space Station just about 10 minutes ago. Dragon has exited the keep out sphere and we are currently awaiting for it to exit the approach ellipsoid. Again, these are two invisible lines around the International Space Station that govern vehicles that come and leave the International Space Station. Dragon's journey to the International Space Station began on November 26 when the spacecraft launched on a Falcon 9 rocket from the Space Launch Complex 39A at Cape Canaveral, Florida. The spacecraft lifted off over the Florida coast with more than 7,700 pounds of science, investigations, and supplies to begin its journey to the International Space Station. Originally slated for November 21st, the launch was moved to November 22nd where the launch was scrubbed due to bad weather. Dragon was successfully launched aboard the Falcon 9 rocket on SpaceX's 26th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station four days later on November 26th. And Dragon autonomously docked to the International Space Station on November 27th. The Dragon spacecraft carried scientific experiments and technology demonstrations that explored growing plants in space, creating nutrients on demand and in space construction, plus many more. The largest element of the cargo load was NASA's second pair of new rollout solar arrays to augment the space station's power system. The iroses were installed on two separate spacewalks on the exterior of the International Space Station on December 2nd and 22nd. Again, we are looking for Dragon to have a deorbit burn at 3.35 a.m. Central Time on Wednesday, January 11th, followed by a parachute-assisted splashdown off the coast of Florida at 4.19 a.m. Central Time, 5.19 a.m. Eastern Time. Dragon will be carrying back to Earth approximately 4,400 pounds of supplies and scientific experiments designed to take advantage of the space station's microgravity environment.